Greetings everyone and welcome to a new First Ace mini-series for the channel where I am going to be exploring Niche, a genetics survival game. Now, a foreword before we begin, I was actually given a key to this by uh, actually Schmofo, who some of you might recognise from the Robocraft community. Uh, he is involved with the developers of the game in some capacity and so passed along a key. Now, I've had the key for a couple of, of weeks and very recently the game through, went through a fairly large update. It is still in early development though, but they're looking for a full release in the early part of 2017, maybe even as early as quarter one, so it's not that far away from uh, full release, but it is still very much in early de development. But some of the latest updates have really increased the gamey nature of this, and I feel that it's at a, at a stage now where I would like to actually cover it on the channel. So we're going to jump into the game. As you can see, it's a genetic survival game, and that does imply a few things. First and foremost, anyone who has even the remotest interest in biology will probably find that this scratches a niche that quite a lot of games do not. We're going to start on the world of Avakis. The other thing that this implies, with any kind of science-focused game, there are sometimes uh, points where you, you find... Has it decided to be a game or has it decided to be a, a, a science model? Where does it balance? And I am pleased to say that Niche actually manages to pull off a pretty good balance of this, especially since some of the, the latest updates. It is a really, really quite an interesting game at this point. Uh, but it does try to uh, follow along and maybe not educate people about biology, though honestly I would, I would go as far as to say that this game does do a fairly good job of that as well. But it certainly is a fun game. It's this turn-based game, so it's a little bit more of a slower pace, and it's quite mellow. But that being said, as with most games that model any kind of scientific phenomena, especially biology, this game does not pull its punches. It is actually quite hard, especially early on. Until you, you get your, your footing, expect to die. It, it doesn't... I mean, it's modelling biology, and biology, if, if you haven't noticed, is kind of sometimes a jerk. So... <laughs> Expect this to, while it's a mellow, calm game, it is not an easy game by any stretch of the imagination. Now, let's introduce our two starting creatures. We've got Eve and we have got Adam, as you might imagine. Now, there's a bunch of information down here that, that's all pretty important. Probably one of the biggest things that's important to you is this, your communal food. Whenever you gather food, it goes into like a communal pot that your entire tribe draws from. And performing certain actions costs food. If you don't have food to, when you try to perform the action, you can still do it, but it'll hurt that character. They'll, they'll take hunger damage from trying to act whilst, um, whilst there's not enough food there to support them doing it. Now, to start off, Eve is currently sat in a nest, and this game is all about population genetics. So you can expect that, you know, the, the focus is on trying to develop a strong, healthy tribe of, of creatures and, and that are able to live comfortably in their environment. And that's pretty bloody hard. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to have Adam and Eve mate there. And so Eve is now pregnant. Quite a lot of the genetics are actually uh, expressed. So all of the things that you can see here our genetics, and once you're, you're, you're familiar with the game, you can just look at something and know what genes it has. But to cover some of them, here's a taster. In fact, actually, the, over here is probably a little bit of a better one, the mutation menu. We've got all sorts of things. Some of them are unlocked, uh, but we have things like medium ears, normal eyes, blind eyes. And being blind means that they can't see, but they're much better at smelling and hearing. Unfortunately, smelling doesn't really do too much in the game yet. There are some features that aren't uh, in the game, but again, it's... Despite its low version number, I feel the game is actually doing a really good job of being very feature rich. Antlers, which increases strength, and that's more for combat and that sort of thing. Um, poison fangs, again, strength, but also venomous. Now, venomous is super, super useful because you could fight something that is far too dangerous for you to just go in and brawl with, but you could hurt it and then run away and just let it die from poison afterwards. Uh, rams, horns, again, strength. Split snout, no effect, makes them look kind of derpy. Um, normal body, a balance between strength and speed. A big body is much stronger, much more cold resistant because of the insulation. A lean body is much faster, much better resistant to high temperature, but you know not so good with cold temperatures. We've got runner legs, which gives them um, a bit of speed and a bit of ability to collect. And we've also got no paw, which means the leg is crippled. We've got various um, patterns, uh, fur colours, eye colours, so on and so forth, tails. Uh, now, 
the legs specifically, and this is something that it took me a little while to really grasp, is that they've got hind legs and then they've got four legs. Now the runner leg is a four leg from what I understand. But you can see a specific creature's genetics. If you click on them and then click on the genetics, if we have a look at Eve, you'll see that she's got different genetics and these give different things. Now some of the things that are super important to look at other than the abilities that the genetics are going to give them, for example, you know, Eve doesn't have a part pattern on her coat. That's not, not that big of a deal. Unless you're really into getting a very specific looking tribe, I mean, which you might be. Uh, but immunity. Now, this is super important. You want to have a diverse uh, pairing of immunities. The more different immunities that are present in your tribe, the better it is going to be for the tribe. Because if you start getting too focused and too many people in your tribe have got the same immunities, for example, immunity A and immunity A or, or, or whatever you have, then their offspring are probably going to be very susceptible to specific diseases. And that's going to be a, a bit of bad news. Now, let's get to the actual game portion. So, Eve, you've got certain abilities. If we look between Adam and Eve, you'll notice this one. This is actually quite an important one. This is their ability to collect. Now, Adam is getting that from one runner leg, but I imagine that Eve has got two runner legs. Yes. And so she is a little bit better at gathering berries. And there's a berry bush right behind her there. Uh, it's a little bit hard to see, but it looks like it's got three berries on it. Another one over there. This is actually a really good spot for us to start with. So let's gather some food, shall we? Mating cost one food. So let's replenish that. Now, Eve can gather two food at a time. And you'll notice a little dot has disappeared off her chest. This is how many action points each creature has got every turn. This is the end turn button. And in the turn, you can do whatever you want with however many of your creatures. You don't have to do an action. And there is something to be said for that. If you're low on food, don't just randomly do stuff just because you can. Think about how you're going to be taking the turns. Or at least I'm trying to. I'm still failing at the game quite often. So uh, I'm not sure if that's particularly good advice. Uh, we've got speed, which comes from the legs and also the body. And that dictates how many tiles in one movement action you can move. You do not need to move one and then two. Eve can move two. If I do that, one, that'll take an action point and it'll cost the food. Another one, an action point and cost the food. Or I could just go straight over there with like a, a speed two and it'll cost one action point and one food. I didn't realize that for the longest time and I felt quite a derp once I figured it out. Um, she can also um, attack things. Smell doesn't really affect anything in game, but hearing I believe affects how far into like bushes and stuff she can hear things happening in the long grasses because as you can see our sight range is blocked by that but eve um you're pregnant so you're gonna stay there for now we've got a decent amount of food but i need to start having adam explore now speed is more important when you're in uh let's actually move over here into the long grass now the thing with long grass is it prevents you from using your maximum speed because adam's actually fairly quick adam can move around fairly quickly Let's move around. We need to start exploring. I will start uncovering the grass soon. But there we go. That, that's that turnover. Ooh, that was unfortunate. Uh, I say that was unfortunate because I hadn't um, cleared out the other berry bush. And when it rings, the berry bush is more or less completely replenished. They replenish it over time anyway. But Eve has got uh, uh, her child there. It only took a turn. But the child is very young. And that's represented over here. We've got Rila. Now, these are the life stages. As you'll notice... Adam and Eve, they're both in their kind of adult life stage. But Rila is a baby. And then it goes to uh, a young child, then an adolescent, then an adult, I think, more or less. I think they become fertile in adolescence, um, if not just in adulthood. But you'll also notice this tiny little sliver of red over there. Now, this game has a very interesting way of dealing with um, damage. When a creature gets hurt, it does not... Um, lose any kind of hit points or anything. But instead, this bar starts filling up from the opposite end. Their life expectancy starts filling up from the from the rear with uh, red. And effectively, it's just shortening their life expectancy. So the more damage they, they take throughout their lives, the more likely they are to die young. In fact, you know, it's more or less guaranteed. Now, I want to clear out the, the area around here so I can see it. I can only run in clear terrain. I'm not sure if I can run over grass. That's actually probably something for me to check. Uh, yeah, I will. I'll, I'm going to move a little bit further into the grasses. Right now, um, Adam can see what's in these tiles, and I can choose to clear them. When I clear them, things that are moving in those tiles, I'll just be able to see if someone's nearby. There is like a, a range to your sight radius. But Eve has moved down here so that she can start foraging as well. Now, uh, our newborn here has no action points. But as they go through their life stages, they gain more action points up to three. So as you can see, 
It's just grown a little bit there. Ooh, something made a little noise. Let's have a look at you, though, shall we? Let's see what, what your genes are like. You have inherited your mother's both runner legs. Um, and you, her ability to uh, gather food. But you've inherited some traits from your father. It, specifically, you've inherited your father's um, coats. You've also inherited your father's immunity to G and your mother's immunity a there. Well, that's, you know, not too bad. Not too bad at all, actually. Now, you can't really do too much. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to move you away from the nest. And the reason I'm going to do that, I will show you in just a moment. Eve, ooh, you can hear something. You've spotted something in the tall grasses over there. Well done, you. Now, that could be any number of bad things. So, I recommend you don't just simply blindly take your, your offspring out in those directions. However... I would like you to do something for me. I want you to uncover that spot, then race back to Eve. There we go. Uh, I can't see that tile anymore, so I, I probably can't run to it. But then I want you to use your last turn to mate with Eve again. There we go. Okay, that's our turn over. We've only got 18 food. We need to find other sources of food quite badly. Okay, we've got Rotaku. Now, Rotaku, again, is pretty much inherited everything from his mother. Uh, except it has inherited kind of a mixture of the color of his mother and his father. And uh, let's see, immunity B and immunity F, that's good. But it's not bad actually getting the runner legs. You're not as strong as your father. Your father is still the, the strongest we've got. Uh, let's move out in this direction. I would like you to generally move... Aha! I see you there. We've got a little rabbit warren. Now, the rabbit warren spawns rabbits, as you might imagine. However, I don't necessarily want to uncover it. I'm not sure, but I believe that by uncovering it, I make it harder for rabbits to spawn. And that's definitely not something I want. We're also hurting for food. Can you move on to the... Ra oh, thank goodness. Oh, wow. Okay, we've got a lot of stuff over there, actually. Okay. Now, the rabbits will move away from sound, so that, that rabbit is basically darting away every time we get closer, which is a little bit annoying. That's where having the area a bit more open really, really starts to help. However, I'm going to have you move over there. Oh, Scallywag got away. And then I need you to start gathering. Now, like your mother, you're actually fairly good at this. You can take two turns now because they're in the second phase. Uh, right, I would like you to move out again uh, actually you know what normally I should just have you there because you can reach both um, points for food uh, okay well we're gonna move you back move you down we're gonna continue trying to grow the tribe and then I'm gonna start having you I'm gonna actually have you help out around here and just start clearing this area up a little bit I really should have Use my turns a little bit better there. We're down to 12 food, which is not good at all, honestly. Now, there are other nests around right now. We're trying to to use this nest as much as we can. Let's grab all the food there. That's fine. You can actually start helping me by uncovering some of the areas now. Eve, would you please move over there and grab the food off that bush? Grab... I think there's two food on that one as well. And... Before we leave again with Adam, we can breed once more. Now, you don't necessarily want to uh, breed all the time. Because that can put a strain on your community. And also, we're, we're pretty much compacting the genetics a little bit here. And that's a little bit worrisome. Now, the things in the grasses that are moving around can be all sorts of things. It can be predators, which is a bit of a horrible surprise if you, if you just, like... You know, roll up and they're like, hey, yeah, I'm going to find some rabbits. Oh, no, it's horrible death waiting for me to, to maul me and eat me and all other sorts of terrible things. Uh, let's move you over there so you can give birth on the next turn. Um, let's move you into the ground. Oh, thank goodness, another nest. Thank goodness. Now, that is a huge thing for us. Now, I'm not sure if uh, hunting, uh, sorry, gathering actually uses food. No, no, it doesn't. That's good. That's very good to see. I don't believe that looking uses up food either, though, which is also pretty good. Um, now, I don't think the rabbits will spawn if you can see them. 
I think it's something along those lines. So what I'm trying to do is I'm going to uncover all of the tiles around it in hopes that then we'll move away, but things will still spawn in here, but then I can dart over to them with my super fast try, because they are actually pretty nippy. I must confess, I'm fairly impressed. Okay, we need to do a little bit more exploration, though. Have I got any more points? No, unfortunately. It is a shame. Ah, you're now an adult. And we've got another another little one. Hello, Rovan. And once again, you're pretty much inheriting all of your mother's traits. Uh, right, Eve, I'd like you to check... Oh, dear lord. T Hello, Tano. Ah, uh, like I said, this... <laughs> this wow. <laughs> Split snout. It uh, it it gives them a rather rather derpy look. It it's it's a face that only a mother can love. Uh, we have speed is reduced because you haven't got as many runner legs. You can gather a little bit, but you've got a big body now. That is actually something I wouldn't mind introducing. So uh, let's have a look at your other genetics. You've got uh, wow, you've got violet eyes in in your genetics. That would actually be pretty cool. You've also got panda patterns. Uh, I like it. I like it a lot, actually. We'll see if we can breathe that in and breathe out the, s the split snout. It doesn't really have any effect. It, it, I, I genuinely don't think it has any effect whatsoever. And Eve, you can go over... Oh, my goodness, this is so good. You can go over there so you can uh, gather. Let's uh, move over here and also uncover this so I can always keep an eye on this. Um, right, well, given that, let's go ahead and gather a load of food. Honestly, with this kind of setup, I think we're going to be all right for food. Uh, how about you uncover this one as well, so I can always see how much food is there. Now, for uh, your father, let's continue moving out. I'm going to clear a little bit of a path up through this area, just so that I can uh, easily move around. I've got so little food, though. I'm worried about that. Definitely worried. Oh, thank you, goodness. Ah, uh, what a shame. <sighs> Rene! Never mind, Rene. Never mind. It's fine. Uh, could we... Gather? There we go, perfect. Now, they move whenever we do something. But now it's popped its head out, I can simply move on to the tile it was on, and immediately attack. And then I can gather food. And, as you can see, get a decent amount of food out of that. A decent amount of food. Uh, but it did, did use up all of my turns to do that. Eve, this is quite possibly the best place for you to be. Uh, I would also like you to start gathering from over here with all of your turns. There we go. I would like you to explore that tile. Let's try and get ourselves back up to some sort of good food position. I think that is exactly what we're achieving now. There we go. Now, as for you, let's move you over there. Like your mother, you're actually fairly good at gathering. Uh, I wouldn't mind you moving out of that nest. Uh, you're not particularly good at gathering, Tanu, but it's the only thing I want you to do right now. Okay, we need to start getting... Um, actually... Yes. Let's move you over here and you can breed on the next turn. What kind of body have you got? Have you got a big body? You've got a normal body. Okay. If we can get up to a point, have you got a big body? No, you've also got a normal body. It's okay. That's okay. Right. Time to end the turn. We're down to 14. Now, you may have noticed that in the uh, mutation menu, we can do a few things. Um, I'll bring that open now. We've actually unlocked the berry pole. How did we unlock that? Nimble fingers to improve gathering ability. Now, the thing we can do here is we can encourage certain genetics to manifest. I believe this is, uh, you know, in a sort of abstract way, trying to model genetic drift, which is, uh, no, understand, I was I, I was quite interested in, in genetics, in biology um, in general. I have a very keen interest in artificial life simulations as well as artificial intelligence. But my, my you know, knowledge of, of genetics is not perhaps the strongest, or, or biology specifically, but uh, I think genetic drift is where the environment encourages certain mutations to occur, not, not in any kind of meaningful, I really wanted to have this specific mutation, but it kind of puts um, 
environmental stresses on an organism in such a way that it tends towards a certain um, genetics through through you know survival of the fittest effectively the 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 genes which are particularly useful in a specific um, situation will tend to be the ones that get passed on through breeding and, and that sort of thing obviously we are specifically breeding here but uh, perhaps uh, I think that is in in a way trying to um, put that forward so we've got a 10% slot and a 30% slot I would quite like to get that I would really like to get a berry pole I'm not going to put anything else down there. We'll see how that goes if we start. Because no one has berry pole, as far as I'm aware. Does anyone have berry pole? I'm fairly certain they don't. Unless you have berry pole. No, no one has berry pole. So we'll see if this just can uh, manifest that particular ability. But first and foremost, I want you to gather the berries there. Uh, in fact, gather that berry and then mate. There we go. Uh, now you could please gather these two. Thank you very, very much. Uh, Eve, if you would be so kind. And gather that one. And then... Cola. What oh, a lovely name. Uh, we will have you start to move out. You're going to start exploring. Now... Um, at this point... Hmm, there's something over there. Can your father get over there? No, not easily, unfortunately. All right. Well, could you uncover some space for your father to move into? Oh, can I not move into a boulder? Ah, of course. Right, okay, that makes sense. Ooh. Now, that was a find and a half. Fairly certain that was a rabbit because it moved away. If it was a if it was a carnivore, it would have just been stood there like, sup. And then I would have been cursing myself by using someone who could uh, only, only move... Uh, no, sorry. I did keep w one point. I chose to use it. Oh, never mind. I'm not as dumb as sometimes I think. Oh, another one. Wow, okay, this is super, super good. But you may as well gather that since there's not much else to, for you to do over there. Now, you're not particularly fast, but I would like to, you to start exploring out, ooh, exploring out here. Now, you can piggy bank. I can see that through the glass, so I can piggy bank over there. And another berry bush. This is actually going quite well. We, we've got a lot of food, though I'm a little bit concerned. Yeah, Eve is halfway through her life at this point. Um, okay, we're going to pass it to now then, we've got a uh, to grow. Let's have a look at your genetics, shall we? Uh, what what kind of immunities are we are we expressing at this point? Okay, we, this is at, at the po at this point. I'm starting to feel that I do need to try and avoid having anything breeding that has the same immunities. So, for example, immunity A and immunity G. Your father has immunity G. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. Your brother, immunity F and immunity B. So that would actually be a, a valid a valid pairing uh, in terms of their immunities. And it would pretty much compound some of the uh, genetics and just ensure that it gets expressed. Uh, we'll grab that. I'm gonna have you move out a little bit more actually. Can you uncover more of these tiles around here? Don't like the idea of death coming from over here. So let's move you. Then move you over there. You can start gathering over there. Uh, I would like Adam to swoop in and breed with Eve again. There we are. And I would really appreciate it if you could grab me loads of food. Thank you ever so much. Let's start uncovering some more of these tiles. Let's move you over there. We want to try and find another rabbit, Warren, if we can. Uh, how about you? I mean, I may as well move you. Hopefully nowhere dangerous. Uh, as for you, we've got a lot of, of offspring around now. Let's grab that. And then I'm going to just uncover some tiles around here, just so that I can see a little bit safer. So, despite our large population, we've actually got a, a pretty good handle on our food situation at the moment. Now, we have not encountered very many creatures yet. Um, and that will come. In fact, it might be about to happen. No! Ha-ha! I'm going to chase you down and I'm going to eat you. And it's going to be delicious. Um, how about you? Can you show there? No. You can, though, but you're a better um, gatherer. Adam... It's up to you. 
There we go. Thank you very much. Now, Adam can't actually gather from there. However, um, let's move you out. I am actually going to move you over here. And you're going to start gathering those berries. Um, well, let me have a look at your, your immunities. You've got B and G. And you've got E and I. All right. There we go. I would like you to gather some more food. Oh, can you not move? Oh, she's pregnant. Didn't even occur to me. Oh, no, never mind. Phew. Okay, she can actually make it all the way over there. She just couldn't see through the grasses. It seems that you can see basically two tiles or into one grass, but if what's on the other side is clear, you can see through the grass. But two grass without uh, um, in sequence, you can't see through. Makes sense. Uh, we will move over here. We're going to gather up this food. I had hoped that you'd actually be able to breathe there, but we can also gather that food. Eve, could you gather some more berries for me? Super appreciate it. Uh, now, we've still got something over there that I would really like to find out. You can explore there. What have we got? No, it's moved away, so it's probably going to be a rabbit, I'm going to guess. Down to seven food now, so we need to be aware of this. But we've got a lot of animals that can now move three turns. What else are we going to find? There we go. Go ahead. Thank you very much. Decent bit of food there. You can go ahead and grab that. Um, at this point, we're going to start swapping you guys out a little bit and exploring the island a little bit more. Uh, you can swoop down. We will have... Add, well, actually, let me just check your genetics. It's G and A. No, G and F. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Uh, what we need, then, is... I'm actually going to expend both... No? Yes. Both of your uh, moves to get over here, and then you can breed. We've got a ram's horn. I only just realized that. My lord. I wasn't paying attention. So this is a lot of strength. You do three... Uh, strength. Uh, now, if you have a look down here, I believe that um, the ram's horn goes into the third slot, and I think that's where the fangs go. Yeah, poison fangs go there as well. So we don't we don't get the opportunity to use that, unfortunately. Now, I really do need to gain access to another area. Can you move? No. That. Well, you can move, so let's go ahead and move you out. Uh, you can get over to that rabbit and take it out. Oh dear, we are out of food. That was dumb of me. Severely dumb. Okay, if you can pop over here, grab this food for me. Yeah, we're starting to uh, hurt now. All of the moving around without gathering. We need to cut back on the breeding, I'm afraid. You just grab a some food there, also explore there, and you can just sit tight for now, and we might be able to get this uh, rabbit in a moment, okay, let's need you out of there, so I'll move over there, get you in there, and then you can gather some food. There we go, you can gather some food, and you can then eat a rabbit. It will be delicious. Now this, I'm starting to think that maybe this was not a good move, because it can I can see into that from pretty much anywhere around here, and we haven't seen that spawn since. Really, I should have left it too deep in the grasses. Bit of a bit of a silly move on my part. I'm still learning some of the basics. I, I mean, I'm assuming that's how it works. I could be so far off the mark it isn't even funny. But I think that's how it works. Let's uh, explore this these tiles up around Eve for now. Uh, I would like you to continue exploring. Got another nest over there and definitely a berry bush. Alright. Uh, we need someone over here who's good at foraging. So let's get you down there. There we go. We are going to slowly bring back... Uh, food st 
doors. And I'm going to use up some of those very, very precious food stores just to clear this area. Um, down there as well, just so I can start seeing in, in around this area. It looks like the stones themselves uh, block line of sight, which is pretty cool. Right. At the moment, we should really avoid breeding anymore. Because I can't use everyone that I've got as is. That being said, having a good, healthy uh, population of different ages means that we're not going to hit a point where just all of our uh, people die of old age at the same time. Because, yeah, you know, Adam and Eve, they, they're getting on now in years. Uh, if you could also grab that for me. If you two could be super duper useful, thank you. You can grab that. Now, let's have a look at the youngest one. No. Nope. Easy. What a lovely name. Ooh. You've expressed a berry paw. Fantastic. And you've got a runner leg. So your, your speed is only four because you've got only one runner leg. But you can gather three berries at a time. Oh, that is super duper good. In a ring, that's going to be amazing. Right, okay. We want to try and uh, keep that particular genetic trait in there. So I'm going to move out. We will be trying to breed EC as soon as she is old enough. But we're going to have to make sure that uh, it's someone without a G or an F immunity. She's got exactly the same as her grandfather, I think. G and F, yes. And therein is the problem. If you don't pay attention to this sort of stuff, it can really start getting messy. Hello. Thank you. Could we hop over there and gather all of that? Yes, we can. Three. Wonderful. Uh, sure, let's uh, continue to explore the land. Now, the goal of any island is more or less just to have a stable population. To have a population that can, can survive on the land. Now, this land is particularly easy. In the next episode, I'm probably going to just generally start making my way over here. The way that you move to the other lands is you place animals on these tiles. So the green ones over here, the red ones over here. And then when an animal steps on the first stepping stone tile, all of the animals in the, the exit zone come with you. So you want to really bring along the genetics that you absolutely want to take with you. You want a very good spread of immunities. You want the, the traits that you want in your newer population. And then you go to a new land. It's randomly generated land. From outside of the beginner island, they're all much bigger and have different biomes, hot biomes, cold biomes, that sort of thing. So big and lean bodies start to really matter. On this one, it's very low difficulty. I think the way that it works out is on the on this island, it's more or less a tutorial, so it's low difficulty and low complexity. And the complexity refers to how many features of the game are active on the island. For example, we're not seeing many different food sources. We've seen rabbits. We haven't seen any carnivores yet. I think they are on the first island still, but perhaps it's just a very low spawn rate. Um, but there are other types of animals. There's hawks, there's different types of berry bushes, like there's nut trees and so on and so forth. Uh, but there are lots more features planned to come in as well. We've only got a small set of the features that are planned for the game at the moment. But that is going to be it for this first episode. I hope you have enjoyed. And do let me know in the comments if you have. But as ever, like if you liked, sub if you haven't. And I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone.